The trick I discussed in my previous video is valid only for dynamic species like N2, O2, etc. But what about species like CO2 or benzene for case, which have resonance? For those, we have this video. All you have to do is watch this video complete. So let's start with CO3 minus minus, which is a resonance structure. So the formula for uh, resonating structures, I mean, to calculate the bond order is a number of resonating bond divided by the number of resonating structures. Now, how the hell you are you going to calculate the number of resonating structures? Also, we have the trick for that too, which is this number. Yeah, this number represents the total number of resonating structures which a molecule can have. So, simply what you have to, uh, what your job is left is to calculate the number of resonating bonds. So, to calculate the number of resonating bonds, what you have to do is to make the shape of CO3 minus minus. You just have to draw it. Yeah. The once you draw it, you just have to calculate these lines, which is four in this case. So, the answer, which is bond order for CO3 minus minus, is four divided by three. Similarly, for SO4 minus minus, the number of resonating bonds is six in this case, which we divided by four because uh, four is there and we get six by four as the answer similarly let's move ahead this is uh, the number of resonating structures which co3 minus minus have and that's it and now let's move about and let's talk about few po4 triple minus in this we can easily see that there are total five bonds number of resonating bonds and we have this small four here and this is the bond order for CiO4 minus, we have for ClO4 minus, sorry, my bad, we have total number of bonds, resonating bonds as seven, and this four over here. For CO2, total number of bonds is four, and this two from this place. For cyclic, we consider only those bonds which are in moments. So here we can clearly see the only three bonds are in moments. So we'll have three instead of six, here this is an exception remember it and this two because there are two structures which we can clearly see so for cyclic structures we have a different kind of formula but it is really easy to learn and one more thing which i really wanted to discuss is bond order actually this uh, describes you know the number of bonds between two atoms for example we uh, took n2 in our first video we said that the bond order for this is which we have to remember is three and we can clearly see that there are only three bonds over here and similarly in this example you can clearly see that there are a lot of bonds but what does 1.5 represent in this is that actually there is average 1.5 bonds between two atoms nearly so if we consider like these two atoms we can clearly see there is one and there are two in this in the another resonating structure so this actually corresponds like the number of bonds are one to two something in between them and it is exactly in between so something between one and two is 1.5 please subscribe and share this video as much as you can and thank you so much for watching bye bye